Alright guys, I have a series of new videos for you. These are designed to work in conjunction with the Pompably Unfair Act, which I do want to take a moment and thank the people that have joined, the comments I've received, the video responses I've gotten, and the support that you guys have given me in the project. I definitely appreciate it, and I hope, obviously, what we have now only continues to grow. However, I thought it was good if maybe I could make a video that shows some examples of what we talk about when we say progress hasn't been made in this game to show you guys maybe even a non-football game fan a non-football fan because I made these very elementary exactly what we talk about when we say progress has not been made in this game and as consumers it's time for us to demand a better product or have someone else interject for us so essentially what I've done here is taken inside runs against very similar defenses with Madden 07, 08 09, 10, and 11, as well as NFL 2K5 and All-Pro Football 2K8, so we can get a good comparison here of what these games have brought to the table, and more importantly, what Madden has done in terms of changing its product and evolving its product over the few years that they've sold it to consumers here, being the only game on the market. So we'll start out here with Madden 07, take a look at this key interaction at the line of scrimmage. Watch it. When a player gets beat here, the lineman never turns around. He just runs forward, kind of gets stunted, and that's the end of the play. Take a look at procedural awareness down the field on blocking here with tight end and a lineman. Again, very awkward, jerky motions. Take a better look here with Ryan Deem and how he interacts with this linebacker. Procedurally not existent by either player. They turn angles, spin into each other. So here when we move on to Madden 08, third year with the franchise in the game, we're going to take a look at this run, and then we're going to go back and do the same thing. Take a look at the procedural awareness here of Terry Glenn and Ryan Deem. Again, Terry Glenn, one of the better tackles at this point in his career. Procedural awareness just non-existent. Proper player tracking here with Ryan Deem. Yes, he fights through a double tackle, but then after that, it's just aimless running down the field in conjunction, synchronization with the defense. And here you see Terry Glenn and number 35 both spin around for no reason. Not sure what 35 was trying to hit. We'll go over to Ryan Deem's side and again, just awkward. Madden 09. This is when the game was sped up. You can really tell the speed of the game changes. Again, procedural awareness, downfield blocking, just fundamentally not there. A little bit of a double team, but after that, not much in terms of the game getting any improvements. Players get beat, and they just stand there. Again, taking a look at the awareness here, downfield blocking, running in circles, not much of a change. Move on to Madden 10, which was a big year for Madden, a lot of changes in it. And here we'll see they have made a little bit of progress. Now when the players turn around, they get beat, and there's a little bit more reaction in terms of what they do. Here you see a player gets beat, tries to get back in position. Over on the other side, you see Ryan Deem spins around like before, but now he makes contact with the closest player. Madden 11. Been a long way to get to this point, but now you'll take a look. We've made a little bit of progress, although it's kind of hard to see on this play. You're going to see... Basically, the line get destroyed, but importantly, you're going to see over on the other side, Ryan Deem now double-teaming a blocker, something we hadn't seen before. When players get beat now, you'll see both of these guys, once they get beat, they try to initiate a return and block. Changes in the game, but a long way to get there. ESPN NFL Football 2K5. Now you see these line interactions here. The defensive end is going to go free by the design of the play. So that's nothing to be really too concerned about. But the key things, downfield blocking. We're going to see both of these guys come out and hit the next level. Find an assignment and block, as well as Tara Glenn. Double teaming. Procedural awareness, looking right at him. Very good-looking play, fundamental football-wise. Certainly things that we didn't see out of Madden. Now All-Pro Football 2K8. Going to take a look at a very good play here. And you're going to see different interactions across the board. I can't stress you enough how important that is in terms of the outcome of a play. I'll let this go through, and then we'll take a look at some procedural awareness. I also want to take a look at some of the outcomes of these blocks. Here you see leverage meaning something. Obviously, it's still an animation. Same, similar situation here, but a different outcome. Both players get pushed down, and then here you see Barry Sanders looking up the field, gets blindsided. In terms of downfield blocking, you see contact made, pursuit very clean, and then just one more time, the procedural awareness, Sanders looking at the linebacker before getting hit by the safety. Very good examples of the fundamental footballs that game displays versus 
what we've seen in the past few years of Madden. And to me, with, again, probably unfair act, we're just not seeing enough out of Madden over those few years. That's a very long time and a lot of money from consumers to see very modest changes in a line. And certainly both NFL 2K5 and All-Pro Football 2K8 preceded that game. In many cases, both of those games uh, were out before. So clearly, I'm not going to show you real NFL footage and say, this is what I demand. No, I'll show you older video games built on actually first-gen consoles and say, no, this is what we demand. And certainly, speeding the game up made the problems look to be minimized but you know certainly when we broke down that footage there they were definitely there so hopefully you guys can take this learn a little bit from it and again like i said i will be back with more videos similar to this in the future